Hi everyone, in uh, today's session we will derive an expression for radius of nth bore orbit of hydrogen atom. Let us suppose that uh, an electron is revolving around a nucleus. <coughs> Say the charge on the nucleus is plus ZE where Z is the atomic number. Say this is the sense of rotation of the electron. Okay, so electron is revolving around the nucleus like this. Electron is revolving like this. Okay. Now, um, say at any particular moment, say the electron is here and uh, its its velocity is along the tangent. Its velocity is along the tangent. Say the mass of the electron is m and the charge is minus e. Radius of the electron orbit let it be r. Now. So what we should understand here is on the electron, so there is a force acting in the outward direction that is centrifugal reaction okay? or its magnitude is equal to centripetal force. In the similar way, there is a force of attraction between this positive charge and negative charge. So that is electrostatic force. If the electrostatic force is more, then the electron will fall into the nucleus. If the centrifugal reaction is more, then the electron would escape. Okay? So, if the electron has to continuously revolve around the nucleus in a stable orbit, the condition, necessary condition is <coughs> centripetal force, centripetal force should be equal to electrostatic force of attraction or mv square by r, mv square by r should be equal to electrostatic force of attraction between the nucleus and the electron 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into ze into E divided by R square. So this uh, one R here and one R here gets cancelled. <coughs> then uh, what do we get? What do we get? M V square and this R I will keep it here. M V square R is equal to Z E square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. Okay. 4 pi epsilon naught that's it okay this this r is here now this r is here now okay i'll name it as uh, some equation number one then according to bohr's second postulate according to bohr's uh, second postulate second postulate so we know that angular momentum angular momentum mvr of any electron orbit should be integral multiple of h by 2 pi angular momentum should be integral multiple of h by 2 pi let me write this equation as equation number 2. Now, I have to derive an equation for R. For that, what I will do? I will uh, square equation number 2. Squaring equation 2, what I will get? M square, V square, R square is equal to N square, H square divided by 4 pi square. I will name it as equation number 3. Okay. Now, what I will do? I will perform equation number 3 divided by equation number 1. So, I will write as it is okay what i'll get m square v square r square divided by this one m v square r m v square r is equal to n square h square divided by 4 pi square okay divided by z d square by 4 pi epsilon naught or what what happens or that will be equal to multiplied by 4 pi epsilon naught divided by z e square okay now what happens here so 1 m gets cancelled 1 r gets cancelled v square gets cancelled okay then 4 pi gets cancelled 4 pi gets cancelled what remains is m r is equal to or i can write uh, radius of the nth orbit m r is equal to n square h square epsilon naught divided by pi z e square or i can write radius of the nth orbit r n is equal to n square h square epsilon naught divided by pi m z e square so this is the <coughs> radius of nth bore orbit okay now for hydrogen atom okay for hydrogen for hydrogen so z atomic number is equal to 1 so what happens r n will be equal to n square h square divided by 
pi m e square now if uh, for the ground state okay so if you consider ground state of hydrogen atom ground state so ground state means n is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 so what happens r will be equal to i'll write it as r naught will be equal to h square epsilon naught divided by pi m e square if you substitute all the necessary values value of h 6.63 10 raised to minus 34 value of epsilon naught value of pi mass of electron charge of electron everything you'll get an answer approximately 0. Point, um, answer that answer will be 0. 0.53 0 0.53 angstrom okay so now from the uh, main equation what we can conclude here is rn is equal to n square x square epsilon naught divided by pi m z d square okay i can write so radius uh, in the nth orbit okay for hydrogen atom okay i'll relate this equation okay for hydrogen atom radius of nth orbit is uh, directly proportional to directly proportional to n square so what does it mean radius of the electron in the first orbit into radius of the electron in the second orbit is to radius of the electron in the third orbit is in the ratio is in the ratio 1 square is to 2 square is to 3 square or that is equal to 1 is to 1 is to 4 is to 9 okay then for hydrogen like for hydrogen like atom okay for uh, hydrogen like atom for hydrogen like atom so we have to go for general formula only that is r r n equal to n square h square epsilon naught divided by pi m z e square or i can write it as n square divided by z into h square epsilon naught h square epsilon naught divided by pi m E square so we know the value of this okay so value of this we already know so therefore i can write for an hydrogen like atom rn is equal to n square by z n square by z into 0 0.53 angstrom okay so these are the important uh, so point re you have to remember for the neat examination purpose for board examination purpose still here it is enough so till uh, this point is enough then you have to remember so this particular value of radius okay ground state radius of an electron hydrogen atom we call this radius as Bohr radius so this is a important uh, number that you have to remember so this will help you in exam uh, in the examination say for example if uh, n is equal to 2 if n is equal to 2 you just what, what do you do Bohr radius multiplied by 2 square so that will be the radius so if you remember uh, Bohr radius you can calculate the radius in different orbits so if they give what is the radius of electron orbit in hydrogen atom in uh, n is equal to 3 then what do you do you take Bohr radius okay then multiply that by 3 square because r is proportional to n square okay then thank you very much